guys, welcome back to another video. It's Anne. Welcome to my channel. We are in my kitchen today because we're gonna clean up the mess that I have in my kitchen right now. Uh, I bought a few containers from Amazon to transfer flour, nuts and stuff because yesterday when I was gonna bake something, I opened a bag of AP flour and I found out there were a bunch of little insects in there. Um, and so I threw that whole bag away. I placed an order on Amazon for some containers and we are no longer storing dried goods in their original bag anymore because it is summer and there are a bunch of fruit flies, little animals that are everywhere and we don't want that to contaminate the food. So yeah, I'm gonna give you a peek of my pantry how I am currently storing everything. First, I wanna give Dolce Vita a shout out. They let me pick out two pair of shoes and I showed the first pair in the previous video. The second pair just came today. These are the Lavern Midnight Crinkle Patent Sandals. Square toe flats with a tiny bit of a heel and the gold buckle. So I decided to buy this book. It is the Donna Tart, The Secret History. I actually borrowed this book from the library last month and I was about one fourth into the book and I knew this kind of writing would be very much my style and I want to have this book in my collection. So that is why I decided to buy it. Highly recommend if you are looking for a book that is New England themed, psychological thriller. So excited to continue reading this. Or perhaps I might have to restart because I remember at the end of June, I was so distracted and the whole month of July, it was so hot and comfortable. I didn't really have a lot of time to sit down and read. July was not a productive month in terms of reading for me. So I'm gonna try my best to catch up with my reading reading this month of August. It will keep you updated and we'll for sure give you a review of this book. It's a box that the container came with. I like the size of these. I know they are plastic and ideally I want to have everything glass because it's better for the environment. But they are also very heavy. It's going to be a hassle to move with a lot of glassware. So that's why I opted for plastic. These come in a pack of four. It should fit a five pound flower bag. And that's usually the side that I would go for. These snap on really easily. Looks like this. Okay, so this is my curtain pantry, a part of it. There are more over here, which I will show you a little later. But let's see if this would fit inside. Yeah, it fits in here perfectly. So it fits in the top, the middle, and the bottom space perfectly. This is a bag of cane sugar from Whole Foods, the cacao powder. I used this recipe, the fudgy cacao brownie recipe, yesterday to make some brownie. I think there's something wrong with the measurement. It came out okay, but it definitely didn't fit the 8 by 8 inch baking pan that sat in here. Like the amount that I got, the yield was very little, but it was really tasty and easy to make. This is one of my favorite cacao powder. It's organic. I got this one from Amazon. Cornmeal, breadcrumbs. These are some of my favorite hot and spicy hot pot, hot soup base. This one is from the Heidi Lao brand and this one is from the Little Sheep brand. I have ramen noodles like the Indomie ramen, some Korean noodles right now. I have the Tom Yum Boda. I'm not a big fan of the flavor of it. I don't think Korean can be able to do sweet and sour flavor as good as Thai or Vietnamese. I was curious to try because I've seen some TikTok videos about it. Nang Shim spicy seafood noodle. I think the broth could have been better, but I'm a big, big fan of this noodle. It is chewy, it's big, it's so addicting. The other favorite noodle of mine is Mama. This is the Tom Yum flavor, shrimp one, some anchovies. This is the mint crab and spices that I use to make the rio on top of the bun rio. It is the tomato crab and shrimp noodle soup that is very famous in Vietnam. I got a request to make it. So it's on my list and in my mind. I will make it and share the recipe with you guys one of these days. I have golden curry, Japanese curry mix some cup noodles, Trader Joe's Rusili Corti Bucati Pasta. It has this spiral shape with a little hole in the middle. It is very fun to eat and it's really, really good if you want to make summer salad pasta. Ube Mochi Pancake and Waffle Mix. Some cans of coconut milk. Always essential, super important. I always have to make sure that I have a few in here just in case. And then I have some red tomato paste. Rao's homemade marinara sauce. Great to make pasta. Use it on top of pizza if you want to make homemade pizza. Bianco Di Napoli whole peeled tomatoes. Very versatile product. I have a can of quail egg in water. These are great if you want to do hot pots. Then I have a small herring 
can. Not sure, I think we got this from Seattle. I was so obsessed with natural wine and tin fish the entire year of 2023. I don't know what happened to me this year, 2024. I haven't really found the urge to go out of my way to buy tin fish or I haven't really drank a lot of natural wine this year either. So I don't know, it's just kind of like a trend at the time and I was so obsessed with it. I realized I spent so much money on buying those things. This year we're cutting down a little bit of that and I think it's fine. Then in the second compartment, I have my rice container. It is pretty full. I believe this one is from a Korean brand. I got it on Amazon. It has a really good review. It comes with this scooper that's always in here and the lid is like a snap lid and then it can be able to close tight as long as you hear this click. And then you can be able to take off the entire lid. It is very secure and I love the shape. It's perfectly in here. And behind it, I have this bag of Three Ladies brand back or guy. Product of Thailand. This is my preferred Jasmine Rice brand. A bag of this is 25 pounds and I think it's about $30. King Arthur Unbleached Bread Flour. King Arthur Double Zero Pizza Flour. I love using Roberta's pizza dough recipe that is on the New York Times to make my pizza dough whenever I want to make it at home. Otherwise, I would just go to Saragina. It is my local bakery to get a few pizza doughs to make the day off. So that's what I usually go for if I don't have time or if I don't want to make it myself. I have a bag of premium grade rice rice nishiki. This is sushi rice that I use to make kimbap. These are dry shiitake mushroom, very handy in a lot of the Vietnamese and Chinese dishes. Have some pasta here. This is a thick spaghetti type. Anything that has a fun shape, that has a little bit of a bite and chew to it, I love. This one is the papadel pack of light brown sugar. Okay, and down here at the bottom compartment, it is this whole crate of dried goods. And then I have my pho spices. I will link my pho making video on the screen if you're interested in knowing how I make my pho at home. It is from the brand Old Man Kue Hương brand. In this basket, I have some dried clear mung bean noodles. It's great to mix bitter melon stuffing. You use that same stuffing, mix it with eggs and fry it. It's really, really good. It is one of my favorites. And you would eat it with rice and dip it into soy sauce. Cake flowers, you can be able to use it to make cakes. And tempura breadcrumbs, dried mushroom, dried chili. It's come in handy a lot of the times so if I want to add color, spiciness to the dish, especially hot pot or stir fry dishes. Ice paper, my favorite is Too Foco brand. I got this pack when I went to Montreal last year because I was curious. I don't think it is as good as the Too Foco one. This one doesn't grip and it is very easy to make like spring rolls, egg rolls, dashi kombu. I also have a bag of dried anchovies in the fridge. If you need dashi broth, I like to make mine from scratch and I also have dashi powder, nori seaweed, wood ear mushrooms. Okay, these two always go together. So clear noodle and wood ear mushroom. Bún bò huế, vermicelli noodle. It is the extra large okonomiyaki flour. I went through a phase that we would make a lot of okonomiyaki. So that's why we have all of these ingredients. Udon noodles. This is the whole wheat version. That's why it's this color. Glutinous rice flour. Sometimes I like to make Vietnamese dessert. And lastly, I have agar agar powder, the telephone brand. Oh, that's so cool because these come with these little colorful scoops. You can be able to take it out. It also comes with the label. Two colored lids, one is green, one is blue. It also comes with a white chalkboard marker. I'm gonna write on these. I'm gonna label double zero flour, uh, bread flour. I don't make pizza dough all the time, so I might need a smaller container for this. We've got AP flour. I'm not sure what the fourth one I would use it for. Maybe dried mushroom? Because I always have dried mushroom and they're always laying around in these bags, which I don't really like. Tempura flour. It's a small bag, so it won't be able to fit in that big container. I also have goodness rice flour. In here, I have some nuts, oats. This is how much I have left. Chia seeds. Yeah, I don't think I have anything that would fit inside that big container. Peanuts. These are ingredients that I like to use to make granolas. Ooh, this is how I store all of the spices. I have these. La Parfait glass. It looks like this and it comes 
with the additional bit inside that helps seal things. Kosher salt, I'm gonna have to refill the salt up there. A tub of modern salt, my favorite sea salt ever. Here I have all of the utensils. Also need a lot of organization and then they have cooking oil, vinegar, seasoning that come in huge bottles, sesame oil. So I think I'm going to use this container to store dried mushroom. Dried mushroom. It's so exciting when I don't have to look at these plastic bags anymore. Mm. Yeah, it definitely has more smell and flavor. I'm gonna recycle this and throw this in the trash. Extra rice goes in the back. Flour, coconut milk, quail egg, tomato, canned fish. Pasta go into the second drawer. For spices go to the back. Brown sugar. Ramen go here. Yeah, I still have canned sugar, cacao powder. We're definitely going to have to buy more containers to transfer these. Happy with everything so far. So I have all of these big containers up here. All of the flowers, package of goods, rice container, and down here, additional dried goods. This corner, I have olive oil. It's very, very handy when I need to wrap it and use it quickly. And I have this for canola or vegetable oil, white pepper grinder. And then I have these containers that I got from Vietnam, kosher salt. It is diamond crystal kosher salt. This one is my modern sea salt flex. This is regular salt that I use to make broth with. And this is my knife block. Most of these are shun knives. Here, I don't remember the name of it, but it's good to cut vegetables. And then this is my favorite chef knife. It is an eight inch. Then I have a small paring knife that I chop on the ground a couple of times, but that one time the tip disappeared. I've been wanting to bring it to the store to get it fixed, but haven't really had time. My shun honing steel, my bread knife from Mercer. I have my Zori Kushi rice cooker. Behind here I have my wine rack, and my coffee setup. Just what works for me at this point. It's very messy. I just got home from Whole Foods uh, this morning. Jonathan from The Real Real came and picked up my stuff. I was able to, to consign about 15 plus items. I get rid of some of the summer clothes that I haven't worn in a while and some of the clothes that I actually bought from The Real Real, I didn't get to wear or things just didn't work out for me and now I consign back to The Real Real. Feels very light. Apartment is clean now, it's ready for family coming over. I think they are going to arrive later on today. Today is Friday, August 2nd. I decided to go to Union Square Farmer's Market just to walk around and browse for some flowers. The flowers this week are very bright, not very my taste. I was so close to buy some sunflowers. I think it's okay. They are a little too bright and won't be able to work with my apartment at the moment or what I'm looking for at the moment. So I decided to go to Whole Foods instead and then got some groceries. I picked up a bottle of Califia Farms oat milk, the barista blend. So if I couldn't be able to get my hands on this one, I would go for the Oatly. I already made myself some coffee. This is the last batch of beans from Grace Note that I got from Boston. Very enjoy 
this bag of bean and I savored every drop. I'm gonna just make myself a quick cup of coffee for now. Just like a little bit of milk. I don't like too much because I still like it to have this kind of dark brown color. And then I'm gonna add an ice cube. So here is my ice cream. And I picked up some heirloom tomatoes. So summer is heirloom tomato season and I know they are very, very expensive, but I was able to pick up three heirloom tomatoes. So I'm gonna make some toast from Whole Foods. I got a pack of blueberries, got a pack of strawberries. Hopefully these are sweet. Hollander and this small stainless steel bowl. Add in the strawberries, blueberries, apple cider vinegar. Regular vinegar works as well as like a tablespoon or something. Add cold water in here. And just basically let it soak for five minutes, not too long. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got next. I got a bottle of California Olive Ranch, medium, rich and vibrant, extra virgin olive oil. Comes in this glass bottle. I read some review and it looks like it's a really, really good olive oil. So I'm very excited. We'll just use this olive oil to make salad dressing, drizzle on top of any braised or baked dish. Small bottle of orange juice. And then I got four packs of these Fage Greek yogurt 2%, dark maple syrup bottle it's from the 365 whole food brand, organic American cheese. These are the single pack. If we wanna make breakfast sliders or breakfast sandwiches, it's in the fridge right now I have some sausages and I think I'm gonna try to make some English muffin or some sort of brioche bun later today. I have a bunch of cilantro, Roma tomatoes, a bag of AP flour from King Arthur. These heirloom tomatoes, look at how pretty these are. I have to eat these right away because they didn't do really well. <laughs> because I had to take the train and I had to walk for a little bit. I'm gonna just transfer all of this flour into this container. I will link everything in my apartment, in my shop my under my Brooklyn apartment. So there are different categories. So if you're interested in anything that I show you in my videos, make sure to check or just let me know if you couldn't find the link to anything. The flower is a five pounds bag and it fits in here with quite a bit of space left. I feel grateful that I get to have this much space. Even though there are no cabinets up on the wall, there are a bunch of these spaces where I can be able to store a lot of stuff. So as you can see right here, this is the sink and it opens up and this is where I put my trash can. It is the under the sink trash can from Simple Human. In here, I store all of the cleaning supplies. And there's another cabinet where I put my medicines, coffee, random things in here the ap flower container that i just filled it is so satisfying when i find out that these containers fit in all of these cabinets perfectly i think i'm gonna purchase a few more smaller containers from the same brand to store other flowers and nuts that i have so i'm gonna show you how i make my tomato toast i have the heirloom tomatoes that I just got. I have a bag of bread that I got from my local bakery. Slice them in the slightly thicker half slice. I'm gonna toast them. I'm gonna use my cast iron. It is always better to toast anything in here because it can be able to heat at a very high heat. And then I'm gonna use some cupine mayo. Okay, I'm gonna spread a little bit of the cupine mayo on one side of the bread. The side will go onto the pan first, just like this, and then we'll just spread it. I'm gonna do three slices a day. I'm gonna get a piece of paper to tap off the excess water that is dripping out. My tomato slices, so pretty. I'm gonna season them with flaky salt and a little bit of pepper. I store my flaky salt in this little jar that I got from Vietnam. So make sure you season it both sides. Dill, I'm gonna add on top of that. Okay, 
I know this needs some sort of white cheese like mozzarella or ricotta cheese I don't have any at the moment so I'm just gonna do this because I'm just way too hungry so cheers it's so so simple but so so good I'm gonna add a little bit more dill the tomato is so juicy slightly sour but so so sweet I also made a batch of granola. They are not chunky this time, but look at them. Very, very toasty and really, really good. I just follow a recipe on TikTok. <laughs> It is Monday, August 5th. I'm honestly done with summer and this heat and I'm ready for some fall layering. It looks like it is the only nice sunny day out of the entire week. It rains every day of this week. So today is sunny. Right now it is 86 degrees. I did go outside. It feels humid. I'm not gonna be able to wear this shirt yet, but I just got this shirt from eBay. It is a man's Ralph Lauren faded black shirt. It comes kind of cropped. I have bought a lot of men's shirts over the years and I could definitely tell this is a boy's large, not a man's large because the sleeves are a little bit too short. The length is a little bit too short, but because Again, I am 5 feet 5. The shirt comes kind of like at a somewhat perfect length. I can be able to tuck the shirt in. I think I'm not mad about the fit either. It is oversized, but it's not the usual oversizedness that I'm used to in terms of Ralph Lauren men's shirt. I think it works. The fabric, it is so thick, which is really, really good for fall and winter because I have a belt, so I want to like be able to show the belt or I can even tuck the shirt in completely. The shirt is not too long, so there's not too much fabric that makes the pants or the short bulky. I still have to do my hair. Just something like this. And then I like the look of a button cuff like this and then just roll it up. And then kind of pull the shirt to the back a little bit. I love this cute little red Ralph Lauren horse logo. And then I want to show you this really cool 
necklace that I got. I shared this in my newsletter last week, but it came. It is a silver vintage perfume bottle pendant necklace. It is actually a functional thing. So in the past, people used to put the perfume in this thing and then they actually would use it and touch up the perfume during the day. And it comes with a silver chain and it is long enough so that I don't have to unclasp it. It would just dangle all around my neck like this. Just because the shirt is very, very thick, so it's kind of having a hard time laying still. So it might not work for this outfit, but this is to show you what it kind of looks like. I come across this necklace after browsing Front General Store. They are another favorite vintage shop of mine located in Dumbo. And they recently opened the Sissus shop, which is only a few shops away. And it's inside the shopping hall and you have to walk up the stairs, but it is pretty much next to each other. And they sell the same stuff. So they do a lot of vintage Levi's 501s, both men and women. A lot of vintage Burberry trench jackets. I'm sure they're gonna bring out their stock at the end of this month for pre fall shopping. Vintage designer bags, like those Gucci bags with the bamboo handles. I love their silver jewelry selection. So that's why I was browsing the website and I saw this necklace. It was priced at $178 or something crazy. <laughs> that one was sold out. So I just copy and paste the title, found this exact pendant necklace on eBay. And this one was priced at $70, $80 or something plus shipping because it's like by weight. So the shipping was at least $10. I sent in a $30 offer and the seller came back to me at $39.99. I put $32 as my next offer and they accepted it. So in total, I paid around $45, $46 for this necklace with shipping, which I think it is such a steal for being a sterling silver necklace. UPS just came and dropped off this package. I wanna show you what I got from Nostrum. I got a bottle of mouthwash from Aesop. It comes in this really huge glass brown bottle and it is so so minty and i love the aftertaste of this i have super sensitive teeth and i literally hate all of the mouthwash that i've tried even the dentist recommended ones those that have very high reviews on amazon this one is the one that i have decided to repurchase i love the bottle it's all glass it's really big it looks very good on display as well and that's why i keep repurchasing a saw product they have such good packaging and then I also got a bar soap. This one is the Nurture Bar Soap with rosemary leaf, cedar atlas, and lavender stem. I used to purchase the Aesop Bar Slab, which is a super long and big piece of soap from Aesop, but I think they discontinued that product. And I also currently have the Aesop Polish Bar Soap in the bathroom because it came last weekend. I will link these products in the description. And this is my current living space. That's what it looks like. We had some family coming over and they stay here in the living space. This is the Japanese futon. It is in between a full and a queen size. This is my Floyd sectional sofa. We kind of moved things around yesterday. We watched the challengers. I'm gonna wash the linen fitted sheet and some pillow covers. And then move these things back to where they belong. It is super, super messy, but this is our protector. Right now we just screw it on a tripod. If you can be able to screw a floating shelf on the wall, ideally this would be where it stands. But because I like the flexibility of this, having it on a tripod so we can be able to move this around because we have quite a lot of empty wall space like this wall space here and then this wall space here and we can be able to do it over here as well so it is very very cool if you are living in an apartment like us so another empty wall space but yeah we basically move these Floyd sofa over here to kind of set up a makeshift movie theater at home and it was kind of cute uh, seeing the kids like watching movies and just hanging out and yeah, we don't have guests often at our space but when we do it is such a great great fun time. So here is the Japanese futon. It can be able to fold in like quarters like this. It is still kind of bulky and hard to move around but luckily we have a basement <laughs> where we can be able to just get stuff whenever we want. I'm just gonna have the sofa 
facing my bed because I think we are going to watch some movies again later tonight. I don't think I've shown this to you guys before, but it is the other open spaces entryway rack I bought when I first moved to New York. It is just great as a shelf because right now I have my favorite shoes and sunglasses on display. I think I have to do some vacuum. Here is the pillow cover that I got from Tecla. I got two Tecla pillowcases. This is the Tecla linen flat sheet. Fitted sheet from Sit Your Home. I'm gonna wash the duvet cover as well. This duvet cover is size king and it is from Sicho Home as well as the comforter. Comforter is also from Sicho Home. Okay. And then the fitted sheet. This one is from Brooklyn. I'm gonna do a load of laundry. For laundry detergent, I'm gonna use the laundress white it is formulated to white and brighten laundry so i'm going to use a cup of this add in the laundress number 723 fabric conditioner this one makes my clothes smells amazing it is such an addicting scent just measuring one cup so it's up to here i'm going to eyeball the fabric the conditioner and pour it into the softener compartment Okay, I have these trash cans, so the recycle bin and the trash can underneath the sink. It is saving a lot of space worth every penny. Another package that just came. This is so cute. Another Ralph Lauren striped shirt. I'm gonna actually bring you to the front. Because right now I'm boiling under the shirt. It's in size 16 large. I have my steamer here. I'm just gonna give it a quick steam. Because it's been sitting in the back. I'll probably fold it for a while. So I'm gonna get rid of the creases. Just a little touch that helps making your outfit look a little bit more put together and more thoughtful. And then what I usually do is I like to tuck one side of the shirt. If I have some cool belt, right now the shirt is a little too long. But this is how I usually would just wear my shirt. Let's see. So again, this is a man shirt, so that's why it's kind of a little long. So I'm going to tuck the tail into my waistband in the back. So cute, I love this so much. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and clean out the mess on the ground and put away the dishes. Here is the close-up of my yogurt bowl. My bowl is from Fable and using my cute little saber French spoon to eat it with. But underneath I have some Greek yogurt, the Phage 2%, uh, homemade granola. It's very toasty this time, which I love. It has a bunch of flavor. Slightly burnt, I would say, but it still tastes really good. And then I have blueberries and a lot of strawberries because they are about to go bad so yeah and then a generous drizzle of maple syrup
I'm gonna go in the city to do some errands. It's because it's gonna rain the whole week this week and I won't be able to get a lot of things done. So I'm gonna get everything done today. It's kind of hot out today as well. So I'm just gonna do very loosey casual. The shirt is the Ralph Lauren striped shirt. Decided to wear my silver perfume bottle pendant necklace. It's just super cute and it's dangling at my neck. It just feels like a very cute little special piece. I am just buttoning the shirt a few buttons here and just let everything hang. Kind of loosey. I also have on a bralette just in case I sweat. Reformation suede brown bag. High-waisted black linen skirt. It's from Kohlmeyer. I got it from the sample sale that I went to a couple weeks ago. It comes with these two size slits. I love that it comes kind of high on the thigh. And the high-low hem of the shirt kind of work with it. Love the side profile of this outfit. My sunglasses are the peak sunglasses from Phoebe Philo. I'm not wearing any earrings just because I want to keep things very casual and simple today. My sandals are the Dolce Vita black crinkle sandals with the gold buckle. 